Yeah. Been in fucking smelly kirks. <laughs> and sniffing them games that people been rubbing the dicks and armpits all over. So, bag of smelly fucking kecks. What's in the bag of smelly kecks? Some smelly fucking games. So yes, I did say there won't be any pickups for a while and clearly I fucking lied. Because here they are. Smelly dick fucking kex pickup. Yeah! Eat my fucking shit. Anyway, yes, recently I've been playing some Metal Gear Solid. Uh, yeah, I'm working towards a new one. Whatever. I've been playing number two. So I've done number three. If people had stopped fucking coughing, that would be very fucking nice, you twat. And uh, yeah, we've got the, done the snake eater in the first one, obviously. And playing some Metal Gear Solid. And some Call of Duty. Yeah. So yeah, be out back to the smelly kex. Let's see what we've picked up. I spent like about 73 quid or some shit. Yeah. So first out of the bag. Killzone 3, it's a game that I've previously owned. I thought, yeah, let's pick it up again for three quid. Completed it, whatever. Uh, uh, Resistance 2, um, similar, well, same thing as Killzone 3, it was like £2.50, and I'm thinking, fuck it, I'm having that. Uh, and uh, Resistance 3. Um, so I think I have Resistance 1 already, so i got 1, 2 and 3. Yay! Uh, Killzone Shadow Fall, because I never actually bothered to complete it on the... Uh, oh my gosh! It says not to be sold separately, I've been fucking head. Um, yeah, I never actually completed it. First time round. Um, but yeah, most of these are games I've sold on previously and I'm actually uh, kind of buying them for less than I sold them for. Uh, Killzone 2. Oh, oh, gee, yeah. Um, so I just thought, did I just pull Killzone 2 out? But no, it was Resistance 2 and Killzone 3. It's like a hybrid. Um, yeah, again, came off completely before. I didn't really, really didn't like this one, to be honest. I found it way too difficult and very wooden, if I remember correctly. A PSP game! Yeah, you weren't expecting that. Uh, Scarface, money, power, respect. Play a lot on my little console. Um, yeah, I mean, I've wanted to pick up the... PS2 game, whatever, so I just saw the PSP and thought, you know what, picking up the PSP version would be cooler. I don't know whether it's the same as the PS2 game, but um, yeah, got that from Smally Kex. Uh, one of my favourite games ever, uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution. I do actually have the um, director's cut for the Wii U, but I thought, fuck me, it's two fucking pounds. Pound that ass. Double E. So yeah, gotta fucking buy it. See that for two pound, it's like sacrilege. Like I'm having that shit. Uh, um, the Crisis 2. Uh, Crisis 1. I have the digital version on the Xbox 360. Crisis 3, I should say I originally had the Crisis on the PC when it first came out as well. Uh, Crisis 3 on, was PlayStation Plus one month. Crisis 2, I actually downloaded it and played it pirate when it first came out. Um, so that, yeah, I don't own this digitally on any of the consoles, so fuck it, £2.50. Uh, um, here's another one. An interesting one. Um, the Bureau XCOM Declassified. So I really liked the XCOM um, UFO Enemy Unknown, whatever you call it. I um, thought that was a really good kind of reboot of the franchise. So I, I assume this one was released afterwards. Um, but yeah, very good series of games if you've not played them. So uh, yeah, cool. And uh, here we go. 
Alien Isolation, um, Nostradamus Edition, blah blah blah. You know, that'll all be DLC that's probably used. Um, yeah, I d not made my mind up on this game, but I thought, fuck it, £12, it doesn't go for much less than that on eBay, whatever. Anyway, here's one of the Xbox launch title, Rise, Son of Rome. Um, supposed to be a bit of a trudge through, so I just thought, fuck it. So, see, seems like a bit of a repetitive sit down manga out bash buttons game. So, I thought, fuck it, I'll have that one. I'll have that one. Uh, the crew, um, a game that annoys me because it costs so much to buy digitally like 35 quid, probably. Um, so, yeah, £12, fuck it. It's not a great game. I did play the beta and wasn't really that impressed, but for £12, it's, it's a lot of game, so fuck it. Uh, uh, Blas Blue Calamity Trigger. This is a game that I previously owned on the 360. I believe it was Calamity Trigger. This is the first one. Yeah, I think it is the. Uh, yeah, I think that's the first one. Um, yeah, I think this is from the is it from the Guilty Gear um, developer. Can't remember, but um, interesting. 2D fighter, great graphics, so uh, I thought I'd get that back in the collection. And Medal of Honor Warfighter. Um, I thought I actually picked two of them up. Maybe it's one where um, the guy couldn't find it, so I just thought it'd be like a sneaky cunt and uh, just not include it. Um, so yeah, overall I picked up, I think it was 14 games I counted. Um, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of PS3. I did look at the Xbox 360 stuff, but there was nothing that kind of jumped out and interested me. Um, and the PS3 games, to be honest, are mainly games that I previously owned and completed. I mean, there's only really... Medal. I'm not. I mean, I might have played Medal of Honor Warfighter. I know it was a bit of a controversial one, very buggy when released. Um, so I might have played that one. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, all the other PS3 games are games I've just basically completed before and sold, and I didn't have as much money as I do now. So I just picking them up as kind of shelf filler, and I might jump in and out of them eventually again. Um, the Xbox One games are not, you know, must-have titles that I want, but they are um, what I kind of value as decent games for, I think they're all £12 each, aren't they? So, decent for that kind of price. Killzone Shadow Falls, just some that I... I wouldn't mind giving the multiplayer a, a try again, to be honest. Um, but yeah, and the PSP games, kind of like a token... A lot more retro than the other games. Uh, I did look at the PS2, but the PS2 stuff in CEX is is long past fucking picked through, so didn't really bother picking anything up there. So yeah, many new pickups for the uh, the shelf. Um, th there's my kind of last gen, you know, 360 PS3 Wii stuff just sitting under the bed. Um, but yeah, I went in so I, I don't do many pickups where I actually go into a shop and buy stuff but um, I did have to actually venture into the city centre to go and see the solicitors about the uh, buying the house that I'm trying to buy um, so yeah that's that's the reason for the pickups um, when you got to pay £2.90 parking you think fuck it I need to spend £73 on games so yeah Thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed these pickups and let me know which ones of these games you really enjoyed. Like I say, I've completed most of them apart from the uh, the current gen stuff, Xbox One, PS4. So yes, thanks for watching and goodbye. Thumbs up for Smelly Kex. Oh yeah, let's talk about Smelly Kex actually. The place is always full of grebs, um, OAP fucking rockers, people that stink fucking criminals 
Um, the latest one's foreign people who shouldn't be in this fucking country anyway. Get the fuckers out. Um, yeah, and I had, think I had to wait about 20 minutes in the queue to get served. And, like, there was literally loads of people walking out and just fucking had enough of it. And, like, somebody let off this smell and it was just, oh, God, I don't... It was like Red Bull mixed with fucking garlic mixed with a fucking, I don't know, a whole ring of fucking, that had a whole ring of garlic fucking sausage in, surgically inserted into the fucking throat instead of tonsils or something, I don't know, fucking disgusting. Absolute smelly grab pit, hate the place, but um, yeah, and all the, you feel... Like touching these games feel all sticky and fucking horrible. They need cleaning and shit and all the shitty fucking labels. And yeah, um, I mean, the only one I think, well, two games didn't have um, instructions. I think the crew, don't know whether that even comes. They only have them shitty little slips on the Xbox One anyway. Um, but I think it was Resistance 2 and 3. Um, Resistance 3 is like a steel book version. Which is kind of nice. Struggling to open it. As you can see, no manual yet. Resistance 2 uh, has two manuals in there, if you can see that. And they are both English. So, yeah, smelly kex for you. You never really know what you're going to get. But all of these discs are in decent condition for kex. So, uh, thumbs up for that. But hopefully, they're not dirty refurbs that don't actually work anymore. So yes, thanks for watching and fuck smelly kex, but I got some pickups from there. Goodbye.